my first official solo weekend in LA. Obviously I've been here over a weekend already, but my parents were here and we were just kind of like, you know, doing all things. But this is my first solo weekend here and I spent my first Friday night doing work. Are we shocked? Absolutely not. But I had a super long work day yesterday. I ended at like almost six. So by the time I got home, it was like 6.30ish. And then I showered and ate dinner and stuff. And it was like 8.30 at that point. And I ended up just kind of sitting here editing videos and getting through some of the work that we had started yesterday. So feeling really good about all of that. I wanted to edit a bunch of videos for them and make sure they like my editing style and that we're on the same page about everything that we had filmed yesterday. And they were, they loved everything that I sent over. So I'm super happy about that and now I feel like I can like breathe and know that like everything else is gonna be good So yeah, today is Saturday and I'm hanging out with Lexi. I'm very excited. That's my only plan for today thus far I told her I was like listen I need to go thrifting so bad because I do not have clothes and my clothes aren't gonna come for another hot minute Probably and I've literally gone through my rotation of outfits already and I desperately need to do laundry too But I need to go get quarters and then honestly, I think for the rest of the day afterwards I want to do some more editing and kind of just like housekeeping on my emails and stuff I still have not gotten up to date with all my emails and it's killing me and I feel like I'm just letting it pile up And I need to really do some maintenance on that and make sure that all of my content and stuff is like really well organized I want to get ahead on all the work that I can can. So I think that's probably what my like afternoon is gonna look like and night. I don't have any plans at night. Yeah, that's my current plan. I'm gonna drink my coffee, catch up on some YouTube videos, and then we'll get dressed and go pick up Lexi in like about an hour or so. So yeah, I am excited. She's like the first friend I'm actually seeing out here, I think. I don't think I've seen anybody else yet besides like the friend I stayed with for the first couple nights, but yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> to vlog the entire day we went thrifting we went to this one thrift store but there's a lot of people it was kind of overwhelming we didn't really find anything so then we went and got coffee and food and just like hung out and it was super fun so i'm still clothingless unfortunately but we will find stuff i don't know i might just go out later today or something it was so nice to finally like get out of the house and hang out with somebody i love lexi i've hung out with her a couple times already i might hang out with her again tomorrow but we will see i had another friend that i was potentially gonna hang out with tomorrow but but, oh, but I don't know if that's still happening or not, so I need to check on that. But, yeah, today's been fun. I still feel so weird about being here and, like, driving around and, like, I used to only hang out with people and it'd be like, oh, like, I'm in LA this exact week, like, let's all hang out. And now it's, like, weird that I can just call people up whenever and be like, hey, wanna hang out this week? Like, that's so weird. You know, I used to only like have a certain amount of times that I could hang out with people. Now it's like I can do that whenever. So wild. But anyway, that is my update. I am currently driving through downtown, which is tragic. I like had not gotten downtown yet in terms of like having to drive down here because there's not really a reason for me to unless I'm coming down to the fashion district, which I haven't needed to since I don't have any of my like sewing stuff anyway. Like I don't need to be buying fabrics or notions or anything like that because usually I would avoid downtown at all costs because there's just not a lot. I mean, there's a lot, but it's just like not the greatest area to be in. Um, it's kind of stressful to drive through, but other than that, it's been pretty decent. So yeah, I'm gonna head home and then chill out for a little bit because honestly I got my period this morning and I kind of just need to like sit for a minute and like chill out. I have some more editing to do and stuff like that. So I think I'm just gonna chill for a little bit, maybe go out on a walk later today. I wanted to go to the beach today, but then like I said, I'm on my freaking period. So that's really sad. Granted, I can still go. I don't have to be wearing a bathing suit, but I don't know. I will see. I'm just like bloated and like not in the mood. So that is the update. I will catch you guys afterwards. So, it is 6.20 p.m. and I have been sitting in bed since I got home because my period decided to hit really, really hard and I was dying for a good hour sitting on the bathroom floor and my Advil kicked in a good hour later. So now we're here 
and I just don't feel like doing anything. And I figured I would just treat myself and stay in for the night because I am not feeling well. So I got some sweet green, which is literally one of my favorite places ever. When I lived in New York, like it was one of my favorite places to go to. I don't know what it is, but like a good hearty salad just gets me. Like I love a good salad. And not to be like, mm, I love being healthy. Like no, genuinely, like I just love really filling salads. Like this one literally has like rice and chicken and sweet potatoes and like a bunch of like filling stuff. It's not just like straight lettuce. So I decided to treat myself to one of these because I can, because I live here now. And because I literally need something like just good for my system right now because I'm not feeling well. So I will be sitting here the rest of the night. <laughs> this is the most uneventful like first weekend in LA that I could possibly have. Like yesterday I came home from work super late and continued working throughout the night. And then today, like I did go out in the morning and then of course I'm like staying in the rest of the night and I don't know what tomorrow is gonna hold for us, but I'm excited to eat this salad because I really, really needed it. On the bright side, I am catching up on all the YouTube videos that I haven't been able to keep up with for the past like two weeks, so. That's the one good thing, but yeah, not the first weekend I thought I was gonna be having. So cheers to that. I will catch you guys later. Good morning, guys. It is actually Monday. I did not vlog yesterday because I was still kind of feeling out of it. And then I ended up going to the beach with a friend and that was kind of the end of the day. Not terribly eventful, but it is Monday now. I actually don't have like a work schedule yet for this week. They haven't told me like when they want me to come in. So I'm assuming that today is just a freebie day for me, which is really nice. I do have some work to do for them to catch up on but like I, I can do that kind of whenever it's not super urgent but today I desperately need to buy clothes like I really thought I would manage with what I have but if I'm gonna start to be going in to work like I've already worn my two best work outfits because everything else is like way too casual or not gonna work and I also desperately need to do laundry but I need to go get quarters because I don't have any so those are my two tasks for today getting quarters and getting clothes so I'm gonna go to the bank first to get some quarters and then most thrift stores that I've looked up open at around like 11 ish so that gives me time to hopefully do laundry before I head out for the day but I was trying to look at where to go and I think I'm just gonna go over to like West Hollywood and like Melrose in that area just have so many thrift stores and I know that area a little bit so I like feel better about going by myself. I feel like it's probably pretty chill on a Monday. So I think I'm gonna go over there, hit a few different ones and hopefully find like at least a few different tops that I can wear. Maybe like one more pair of pants because I really just have my jeans with me and like it's not the most professional thing to wear. Or like a few dresses would also be nice because that's like an easy throw on outfit. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. <laughs> So I was like, what am I gonna do? Realized there was a Trader Joe's nearby and I was like, you know what? We're just gonna get some food because I am running low anyway. So here's my little Trader Joe's grocery haul. It is the most random mix of things because I had no plan in mind. Got some chips because I'm running out and Curly needs a snack. I got these everything ciabatta rolls and I am so excited. I'm literally gluten intolerant and I really should not be eating gluten. And I honestly barely ever buy it. I usually buy gluten free everything. But every once in a while, like I just, I need to indulge. And these look like they were worth indulging. I think I've had these before and I'm like trying to think about it because in Indiana, I didn't have a Trader Joe's nearby. I always went to Kroger because it was like two minutes from my house, whereas like Trader Joe's was like 20 to 30 minutes, so it wasn't worth it. But when I lived in New York, I used to go to Trader Joe's all the time because it was like closer to me. So I can't remember if I ever had those, but I think I did. Got some avocados. I got some gluten-free cinnamon coffee cake muffins because I am a sweet girl. Like I need sweets, especially in the morning. Like I'm so used to like having coffee and some sort of sweet in the morning, unless I'm like going through an avocado toast phase. Depends, but yeah, these look really good and they're gluten-free, so thank God. Got some cheese because I'm literally running out. I got this teeny tiny bottle of heavy whipping cream and it is the cutest thing ever, but I use a lot of heavy whipping cream when it comes to like making pastas or anything but I feel like I never go through an entire thing of it because like I'm one person you know you can only use so much so I was so glad to see this little teeny tiny one that I could use like as a one person you know gal so that's that I got some salmon because I was thinking of putting some cream cheese on the ciabatta rolls and then also some salmon and making it kind of like a bagel but it's not a bagel and of course I got cream cheese to also go along with that I also got some crumbled 
feta cheese because I love putting this on my eggs. Best thing ever with like tomatoes, like cherry tomatoes. Favorite thing. And usually I'm not a fan of like freezer food or like pre-made foods because I actually enjoy cooking. But since I don't have all my cooking stuff with me, I figured it would be actually be helpful to maybe have some. So I got a chicken fried rice that I can just like quickly stir up, which is nice. But yeah, I'm not usually a fan of this type of stuff. But that is my haul. Hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna put this away. And then we're gonna do laundry because I did get my quarters. Got them good. So we're being productive. Hopefully by the time I finish like laundry and all this stuff, it'll be close to like 11, which is the time all the thrift stores open. <music> I don't even have like a proper bag to put this in, so I have a shopping bag from when I went uh, thrifting with my parents. So here we go, let's do it. So I have no idea how long that's gonna take, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume like 30 minutes. So I just set a timer for 30 minutes, then I'll go check on it, see if it's good, and then put it in the dryer, hopefully another 30 minutes or so, and then we'll be good. But I'm so happy to get that out of the way. You guys have no idea. Like I literally, I'm running out of like socks, running out of underwear, like I'm running out of literally everything right now. So I'm very happy to get that situated. I think I'm gonna do some work. I was in the midst of uploading a video this morning. I wanna check if it did upload or not. My Wi-Fi is a little bit slower here than it was at home like I could upload a video in like 20 minutes at home or maybe even less but here it's like taking like an hour and a half which is not that bad because back when I lived in Italy it would take like eight hours <laughs> for a video to upload so nothing is as bad as that was so it's really not awful but I just want to make sure that's getting uploaded I need to make my thumbnail for it and trying to stay on top of that I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this already but I think I'm gonna upload just once a week for now until I get into like the group of things like I need to like wait till my stuff comes in and really get situated with like my work schedule, part-time work schedule and like all the things and then see if I can go back to twice a week. Cause I was in a good group of it. It's not like that difficult for me to edit that much. I just don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film because like the days that I am working part-time, like I can't film what I'm doing. So it's like a couple less days of the week that I can film. So I don't know how much content I'm gonna really have and all this stuff. So we'll see, but for now we're doing once a week. We're gonna stick to Tuesdays and hopefully we'll get Saturdays back eventually, but I'm gonna do some work and then we'll get back to this. So I just went ahead and put my laundry into the dryer. I switched it over. So it was roughly 30 minutes. I guessed it right. Unless it's like maybe 25 or something and it sat there for a hot minute. But I've got like 20 more minutes on the dryer because that one takes 45 minutes. That one did specify. And it's about 10.30. So by the time that's done and I get everything like, you know, situated, it'll be well past the time that all the thrift stores open. But I'm trying to think if I should like eat before I go. Usually I eat like at noon or a little bit past noon because before that, it's just early. But I also don't want to be out and about and like have to buy food because we're balling on a budget considering I really have like not really a whole lot of income coming in right now because I can't work on my own stuff. So I think I'm going to eat something really quick before we go. I kind of want to plan out which stores I'm going to hit. I know that on Melrose, there's like a Crossroads that's really good that I've always gotten stuff at. I think there's a Buffalo Exchange as well and then a few other random ones but I've heard that there's a few other ones in that general area, but not necessarily like on Melrose that are good, like just like in West Hollywood. So I'm gonna try to hit those as well. And literally just like hope for the best because I need clothes so bad. Like even though I'm washing the stuff I have, it's like I've already worn the two good work outfits I have. I can't just show up wearing the same thing all the time. Like yes, I can repeat outfits, but not literally like back to back. You know what I mean? Especially since I'm working for a literal fashion brand. Like I think I'm gonna eat. I don't know what I wanna eat. I kind of feel like maybe making a little bit of the fried rice that I bought because I don't want too much. I'm not terribly, terribly hungry because I did indeed already eat one of these. I was like, mm, I'll just have half of one just to try it. And then I ate the whole thing. They are so freaking good. Usually gluten-free things are like hit or miss, but pretty solid. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna make a little bit of this just to at least hold me over until I get back from all of my errands and things, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling productive today. I really need to get stuff done. I have a few more things that I need to get done in terms of just like really settling in. I need to get my car registered here and I also need to get a California license, but I have to have like 
proof of like where I live. Um, so I'm waiting to get some like bills so I can have that as my proof. Cause I have my lease and I have, oh, I guess I have my car insurance, which I've just switched over. Which by the way, why is car insurance so much more expensive here? I'm literally paying like almost double. Actually, I think it's straight up double what I was paying in Indiana for car insurance. So love that for me. That's beside the point. I'm gonna make my rice and then we'll continue on with the day. <laughs> things to be a lot more flavorful but pretty solid i also went ahead and got my stuff out of the dryer and just put it all away so we are ready to go as soon as i finish eating this we'll head out and go thrifting and hopefully find some good stuff okay i just brushed my teeth and i am ready to go got my phone bringing water for the road I'm trying to be better about staying hydrated my wallet sunglasses and my keys let's do this I would just like to say that I officially made it and I parallel parked successfully and that is a win in my book because I really suck at parallel parking. Granted, do I have a very small car and was this a huge space? Absolutely. But I still managed without having to go back and forth a million times. So we're gonna go to a couple different stops here. We're on Melrose. And so there's Crossroads, which I feel like every time I've gone, I've found at least one thing. And there's a couple other vintage ones. These are a little bit pricier because they're consignment stores. They're not like thrift stores, like they don't take donations. So a little bit pricier but usually you can find better things because sometimes I struggle going to like a Goodwill because like you really have to sift through it because it's donation based whereas like when you go to a consignment store it's already like pre-selected and it's only like good stuff that's in good condition things like that so that's kind of why I prefer consignment stores sometimes but they are a little more expensive so we're gonna test these out see what's good let's go <music> I ended up getting three things. I think I got, what, three tops? I got two tops and a dress. Granted, one of my tops is literally long sleeve and the other one's like half sleeve, but you know, it's fine. Anyway, one of my bosses texted me asking if I wanted to drop in today for something. So I told her I could go at like three. It's like 12.47. I debated whether or not I go to one more or if I just like wait, but honestly, I don't have a lot of money to be spending right now, so I could use the extra money. So I'm just gonna probably go home and get the few things that she wanted me to get done today before I head over to her place to finish up. So yeah, I feel good about at least having a few more options. That's three more outfits right there. So that's really good. I liked a few of the other things that I tried on. I just didn't like love it. I loved the white pants that I tried on. I love the fit of them but they had a few stains and it looked like they were like wine stains so they wouldn't probably come out very well. And I don't think it's worth the $22 if they have stains on them. So I was like, absolutely not. Which is unfortunate because they were really cute and I like the way they fit, but we were just gonna go home for now. That was our little adventure for today. Glad to have a few more options anyway. But yeah, let's head home. So here is a little haul for you, even though you technically already saw the pieces, I'm pretty sure. But got this cute little strawberry dress. Low-key, it's a little short, but you know what? It'll do. I think I will make it work. Thought it was cute. Fun little summery dress. Then I got this fun little vintage blouse with a little like fringe. I thought it was super fun. It obviously needs some desperate ironing because it's super wrinkled. But I'm gonna just like hang it up in the shower while I shower and hopefully it'll take some of those out because obviously I don't have my iron on me. But I thought this was cute and I could easily just like roll up the sleeves and do like the 
few top buttons only and have like the rest open but that would be fun also could be a fun like layering piece but you know and then i got this really cute freaking sweater which is also supposedly a vintage sweater and it just has one little like hook right here which i thought was cute because i can also just wear it with nothing under if i wanted to and it's like a quarter sleeve so i can like you know just push them up and wear it in the summer but also could be a good transitional piece i feel like la weather is weird because it is really really hot but like i feel like the mornings and like the nights are still pretty cool out here so it's like you do have a lot of transitional pieces that can work year round so yeah i really do need to get more actual like summery pieces because i don't have too many but at least i've got three more here i'm excited it's funny that they're all literally the same color that was unintentional but at least they're not black because that's what the entirety of my closet is right now anyway i think it's like 1 30 so it gives me about like an hour ish to get myself situated with what i need to do before i head out there so i'm gonna do that and then i guess i'll head out for the day but hopefully you enjoyed this little adventure i have no idea what tomorrow is gonna be so i don't know if i'm gonna end the vlog here or continue tomorrow but i guess we'll find out in the next clip